The CICO diet. What does it stand for? Cal calories in, calories out diet. I am laughing only because I did not even know this was named and apparently turned into a fad diet. I, it's a, nothing amazes me anymore. Um, why are we talking about it? Because I have repeatedly told you that counting calories is the fundamental tool you will need if you want to lose weight. And repeatedly this notion is bashed by fitness experts, nutritionists, dietitians. But why? So here's the deal. Let's look at the actual science. A calorie is a unit of energy, all right? And people will say, well, the quality of the calories matters. It does, but about what? What does it matter about? And what I mean is it matters with regard to your overall health. But when it comes to weight loss, we've been shown repeatedly, and I'm going to give you two very good examples, and I'm going to leave the links in the comments so you can check it yourself, that energy is energy when it comes to bigger, smaller. For the most part, there are a few small nuances that can occur over long periods of time. But a calorie is a calorie. It's like saying a pound of chicken feathers is different than a pound of stones. A pound is a pound. The stones might give you calluses if you held them and the feathers would be nice and squishy. So the way you feel on them, the impact they have on you might be different, but a pound is a pound. So a calorie is a calorie. It's a unit of energy. It's, it's the first law in the rule of thermodynamics. So it, it, law, law, not, not theory. It's a law, okay? And that means it's been proven. It's an energy equation. Okay, so let's take a guy. What was this guy's name? I pulled this up because it's been forever. Maybe you guys have heard about the Twinkie diet, right? So the Twinkie diet was done by a professor named Mark Haub, and he's a professor of, professor of human nutrition at Kansas State University. Now, to illustrate the calories in, calories out argument, or to prove the case, he lost 27 pounds in 10 weeks, subsisting almost exclusively on Twinkies, Doritos, and Oreos. And other treats, but he simply ensured that he consumed fewer calories than he burned. 10 weeks, lost 27 pounds. Okay, so then we got another one. Here's another one I'm gonna put in the link below. This is a TED Talk by a physics professor who explains in detail how fat gets in our cells and how fat gets out of our cells, and you will find it is calories in, calories out. Again, link below. And there are other studies, so for those of you who want to get on your hate train, if you want more, I will put more. But the bottom line is, calories in, calories out will help you lose weight. It's energy. If you eat less energy than you burn in a day, you're going to lose weight. Now, why does everybody hate this so much? Okay. First of all, if this CICO diet makes the presumption, or, or let's just say in any way advocates that you eat complete garbage all the time and it's not an issue, that would be bullshit. So you might be smaller, but it doesn't mean you will be healthy, right? Thin people get cancer and type two diabetes and all kinds of problems, heart disease, as well as people who are overweight. So where the quality of your food really matters is your health, your longevity, your immunity, that's a real big deal, but it's separate than weight loss. Would I love for you to have both? Absolutely, provided you, you need to lose weight. But even if you're trying to maintain your weight, you need to understand calories in, calories out. I eat as many calories as I burn in a day and I maintain my weight. Now, I also want you to understand that you may think, oh no, this, this CICO diet doesn't work. What scares me about telling people that is that then they're like, oh, well, if calories in, calories out doesn't work, I gotta try this fad diet, I gotta try that fad diet, maybe I gotta go keto. And that not only doesn't help you lose weight, it also has dangerous health ramifications. Plus, you might be thinking, well, okay, I just need to worry about eating whole foods. But if you're eating too much food, even if it's healthy, you will gain weight because it's calories in, calories out. 
So if you ate avocado and nuts and seeds and wild caught salmon, all this stuff is super duper. It's filled with micronutrients, vitamins and minerals, all kinds of great stuff. But it's also got a lot of energy in it, a lot of calories. So if you're taking all that energy in and you're not burning all of that energy, you will store the energy in those super healthy foods as fat. You just will. So now a couple of other big issues that dietitians and fitness professionals have with the CICO diet is, you know, they claim that, and, and they're not wrong, that if you eat crap, you're going to end up eating more. Um, then there was a study that was uh, recently, um, oh my goodness, referenced by a dietitian on the Today Show. Um, where is this bad boy? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Calories from Whole Foods. Here we go. The study published in Cell Metabolism 2019, researchers pitted a whole food diet against a processed one. And to make a very long story short, here's the conclusion. On the processed food diet, participants ate many more calories, averaging an extra 500 a day. Well, okay, that's still not calories in, calories out. If your argument is that processed foods make you eat more, you're totally right. But look at the Twinkie diet. If you stuck to the calories you were allotted, you'd still lose weight. So in conclusion, do I want you to eat awesome, super duper healthy whole foods? The hell yes, I do. But if you're trying to lose weight, maintain weight, or even gain muscle, you need to understand the energy equation because that is what lies underneath all of it when it comes to weight loss, weight maintenance, weight gain, period, okay? So no matter how healthy the food, you overeat it, you gain weight. No matter how unhealthy the food, if you don't eat a ton, you will lose weight. But this empowers you so that if you do fall off the wagon and eat a bag of Doritos or have a Twinkie, but you haven't overeaten, all is not lost. And even if you did overeat, all is not lost the next day. You get up and you make some checks and balances. You don't overeat the next day. You work out a little bit longer the next day. But I promise you, I promise you that the critics of calories in, calories out, are right to warn you off of eating complete crap for your overall health, but they are lying to you if they tell you that calories in, calories out is not a surefire way to calculate your weight loss. Okay, haters, come at me. I've left the links in the comments below. Okay team, don't forget I created this channel just for you guys. So click like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to hear more about. If it's diet, fitness, wellness, mindfulness, I'm here for you. So give me your feedback.